Hola amigas y amigas, you are now with Jocelyn and this is day 27 of Becoming Rooted, our 30-day gratitude journaling journey. And if you are new here, you just stumbled upon this video, you have no idea what is going on, what this video is about, go ahead and click on this card right here, which will take you to the intro video and we'll let you know everything that you need to know regarding this 30-day journey. It is a, again, 30-day journey that is all about becoming more deeply rooted in gratitude and being able to access gratitude in the past, in the present, in the future, utilizing gratitude for healing, for manifestation. So it's lots of good stuff, lots of goodness. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on it and you don't miss out on any of the videos that I publish every single week. For those of you who have been journeying with me on this journey, I am so proud of you for showing up yet again today for day 27. I honestly, I know I'm probably saying this like every day for these last few days, but I cannot believe we're basically at the tail end of this journey. It went by so fast and I hope you all have enjoyed it so much. And let's go ahead and begin and become present with day 27 because it's a good one as they all have been, you know, just saying. All right. So go ahead and get settled, get seated, grab your water, make sure you're staying hydrated, especially during the summer that we're having, this very hot summer. Align your posture. Ah. <sighs> and get ready to take a few deep breaths with me. So go ahead and gently close your eyes when you feel ready. And place your hands with your palms facing upward on your lap, or you can place one hand over your heart with the intention to really feel these deep breaths, really tune into them and, and greet yourself. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath, deep inhale, and exhale. Stand a little taller and taller with each deep breath, deep inhale, and exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Relax your jaw. Relax any tension in your forehead. Relax any tension in your neck. If you need to roll it, go ahead and do that. Any tension in your shoulders. If you need to roll them, go ahead and do that. Let's take another deep breath, deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. When you feel ready, go ahead and open your eyes. If you feel like you need some more deep breaths, pause this video, gift yourself some more deep breaths. Listen to your body when it's communicating with you. Our word for today is aware aware what we've been doing these whole 30 days honestly is gaining awareness of ourselves of our present moment of our ability to be grateful at any given time 
of our past and what we need to heal of our desires for the future and what we want to call into our lives in our current reality we have been gaining awareness and honestly i feel like awareness is the first step towards growth you cannot grow you cannot heal you cannot expand you cannot ascend to new levels if you are not becoming increasingly more and more aware awareness is key to growth so today we are going to be holding space for awareness and our prompt is reflect on all that you desire to heal within yourself i want you to really think about and journal write down what it is that you desire to heal from this point on and throughout your whole lifetime like right now with the awareness that you currently have like what do you desire to heal within yourself and when that healing manifests what will you have become aware of? So this one may be a little challenging because it is challenging you. It is encouraging you to like really tap into your higher self and your higher understanding, your higher inner standing and awareness, your higher awareness. So I would suggest with this prompt to first journal about all that you desire to heal write down everything that comes to mind that you desire to heal and after you do that and you are observing and reflecting on all the things that you need to heal i want you to really hold space for yourself and take the time to think about okay when I heal these things, when I have healed these things, what will I have become aware of? What, what awareness will I have gained after I healed this? So let's say, for example, that you desire to heal your relationship with money. And you desire to heal your scarcity-based mindset or anything of that nature. So then you think, okay, once I have already healed that, so let's say I'm already healed with my relationship with money. I'm already healed with my relationship with money. Me and money already have a good relationship. I have healed from that. I am now thinking abundantly. What am I aware of now when it comes to money? So maybe some things that may come to mind are like, I have to truly believe that I am abundant, that abundance is always within and around me. I have to, I, I have become aware that money is my best friend, it is pure, it is good, it is useful for my comfort and the comfort of my loved ones. So really be breaking it down and step into that higher awareness. So this one may take a little more time. It may be a little more challenging, but you will come to find that you actually have a lot more answers already within you. So again, we're in the future timeline, but we are expressing in the present tense so just walk through that breakdown that i just gave you and again if you like need more assistance with this one i'm always going to be providing a little extra guidance in the description and in the comments below because i know y'all see that i'm always leaving a comment with every video so if you have any questions or anything please feel free to reach me in the comment section below so let's go ahead and get started. And again, remember like of like some days ago, I think it was in the present timeline where I kind of gave you the tip of like making a list or making bullets and then after that expanding on it if that helps your journaling. So just you know, there's no right or wrong way to journal and do whatever helps you like really digest and process your thoughts.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go here, let you keep writing, keep reflecting. I feel like this is one of like the deeper prompts that we may have done throughout the 30 days, one that like really requires us to sit and reflect. And I want to take some more time to really list out all the things that I want to heal and like really position myself as like my future self. And like even like me as a mom, me as a wife, me as like a successful business owner, like what are all the things that I want to heal to really embody my higher self and what awareness, you know, and then in step two, really step into myself as my higher self with the awareness that I will have after having healed these things. So I hope that you're enjoying this one. I know that this one's like very unique and different, um, but it's very awakening and awareness is so important. And I really wanted to hold space for it in this way of us like really calling in our healing and really calling in our higher awareness and understanding so i hope you enjoy it please hold space for yourself take your time as needed this is your you time as we have been doing for the past almost 30 days so i look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 28 and then after that we only have two days left so obviously there's no reason to give up now, right? We're gonna be seeing each other tomorrow and the next day and the next day and celebrating our 30 day journey together at the end. So thank you so much for showing up. As always express gratitude throughout your journaling and give yourself a moment to reflect on everything that you just wrote down when you finish and just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for my awareness. Thank you for my growth. Thank you for my healing. I'm so, so grateful to have healed this and that and just really get all up in it. So I'll see you tomorrow for day 28. Bye everyone. Peace and blessings.